Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and today I'm going to show you how to ensure your WordPress emails actually make it in the inboxes of your users. Okay, so an issue I have personally encountered and have had a number of my customers encounter as well when it comes to WordPress is emails. Now, typically this is only going to come up, you know, after you've gone through the process of setting up your website, you'll say maybe you forgot your password. And so what you'll do is you'll go in there and then you'll click reset my password only big problem, you never actually receive the email. Now this can get you into a bit of trouble, particularly if you are the only user of that website, if you're the administrator and you're the sole owner of that WordPress website, which again is not too terribly uncommon, then at which point you have to typically either contact a developer or your web host and they're gonna have to try to get you access and it's a big hassle. So here's something that you can try, a free plugin and a free service that you can use to help ensure the best possible chance that the emails that are sent out from your WordPress website actually make it to you or to your customers or to the users who should be receiving them. Okay, so right now I'm just using the Notable Press demo that I had you that I had created in our previous video, which you can check out. Uh, I'll leave a link below if you'd like to check that out. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over to plugins and we're going to uh, go ahead and click on add new. And then under add new, we're gonna go ahead and type in WP mail. Give that a moment to populate. And this is what we're looking for. WP mail SMTP by WP forms. Gonna go ahead and click install now. And once it's finished installing, we're gonna click activate. Okay, so once it has activated, you'll see that it has shown up at the bottom left-hand corner of your admin. So you're just gonna go ahead and click on that. And we're just gonna scroll on down. You can just leave these settings the same for now. You can change them in the future if you need to. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna select send in blue. And here's the thing, you don't have to use send in blue if for whatever reason this service gives you some issues. You can always try changing to one of the other ones. The whole idea here is that rather than relying solely upon your web server, which is housing the website to actually send out the email, instead it's going to be using a third party service that actually specializes in sending emails. So to pause real quick, why would you wanna do this? Now, as it turns out, web servers aren't always configured the best for sending emails. They can do it, but sometimes uh, they just don't make it to the inbox. Sometimes they get marked or flagged as spam depending upon the IP address from which it's being sent. I won't get into all the boring details. However, a web server or an email server specifically that specializes in sending emails, A, will have a higher deliverability rate in general, meaning that it's just designed better to send out email in a format that the recipient is planning on or is expecting to receive it. Also, they're gonna have uh, protections in place to help ensure that the people who are sending the emails are doing so legitimately, uh, which means that they're less likely to be flagged as spam. Email in general is kind of an old format and so is always kind of a tricky realm to walk into. However, doing this is probably gonna help you the best possible chance that you have. So what we're gonna do, again, we're gonna click send in blue. And again, you can go to any of these other services if you wanna pay or some of these have free plans as well. Send in blue specifically for me has actually worked really well and it is free or they do have a free plan. If you're gonna start sending a lot of emails, you're probably gonna have to start paying. Um, but to start with, just about everybody is going to be able to start for free. Okay, so I already have an account. So all I have to do now is I have to go uh, scroll on down and then click this link. Now, I'm not gonna show this, but all I would have to do is click this link and it's going to give me access to my API key, which I'm just going to copy and paste right in this field right here. So just gotta copy and paste it directly into this field and then I'll be set. Okay, so once I have pasted in my uh, API key, I'm just gonna click save settings. And then we're gonna go up here to email test and we're going to send an email. So all you have to do is type in the email address that you want to receive this in. I'm actually gonna do a different email address. 
we're gonna click send test email. Okay, and it looks like I received that email successfully. This is what it looks like when you receive that email and you know from that point forward, you're gonna start receiving emails as you would expect. Okay, so just a really quick tip for you today. I just know that email, particularly coming from WordPress, can be quite fickle, but installing that free plugin and then using that free service or another one of the services out there is going to help ensure that those emails are reaching the inbox, particularly if you just need to be resetting your password from a time to time or if you've got, especially if you've got users who are subscribing to your site or who are active or accessing your site, creating accounts on your site, uh, making sure that they're receiving those emails is extremely important. So again, hopefully you found that helpful. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hey, so I get asked all the time how I make my videos, so I decided to put together for you a free one hour training, which I'm calling the seven pillars of effective video. Again, this is totally free, so click the box in the top right hand corner of this video. You can also head on over to, to Rightly dot tv slash training again this is totally free head on over to rightly.tv slash training